My name is Kathy Brewery and I am the lead intercessor here at Trumpet of Truth. And we at Trumpet of Truth Christian Ministries have just started our 21 day Daniel fast. This is a really exciting time for us. This is the third year that we have been doing it and it is a very powerful time. The testimonies that come out of this 21 day fast, they are unbelievable. And so we are inviting you to join us in this fast. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the Daniel fast, uh, we get it from the book of Daniel. Uh, when Daniel and his friends were brought into uh, the king's service, um, they were given the same food to eat, the same diet as uh, the royal family and the nobles of that time. But Daniel didn't want to defile himself eating that food. And so he requested that he be able to eat a simple diet. And in uh, verse 8 it says, But Daniel was determined not to defile himself by eating the food and wine given to them by the king. He asked the chief of staff for permission not to eat uh, this food and these unacceptable things. And then further in verse 12, it says, Please test us for 10 days on a diet of vegetables and water. And at the end of the 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and better nourished than the young men who had been eating the food assigned by the king. So Daniel did not want to defile himself um, with the food that they were eating because it was indulgent. And it's indulgence that is a real barrier to us hearing the voice of the Lord. So we uh, take all of the things aside that we kind of indulge in over the year. And in this 21 days, we sacrifice those things in order to seek the Lord for what he has as a family, as a congregation, in our personal lives. And um, it is just a very, very powerful time for us. And I just encourage you to just really take this time to fast and pray. Prayer is so important. Even Jesus said, you know, to his disciples when they came to him and they said, we can't cast out this demon. And Jesus told them, this demon can only be cast out by fasting and praying. It's praying. It's our prayers. It's our petitions. It's our request to the Lord where the fasting and the prayer are married together and you see powerful things happen. The fasting part without prayer, it's just a diet. This is not what uh, the fasting is about. It's not about our weight. It's not about doing a cleanse. It's not about our appearance. It's about sacrificing our indulgent lifestyle to pray to the Lord and seek him. For those of you that aren't familiar with this fast and you don't know what is allowed and what isn't allowed, I can give you a list of foods to avoid on this fast. So you're going to avoid any type of animal products, any type of meat, uh, any type of sugar, yeast, refined grains, any type of processed foods, deep fried foods, solid fats, chocolate and caffeinated and alcoholic beverages. And it sounds very limiting, but it actually isn't. Uh, there's uh, foods that you can on the, uh, eat on the fast. You can eat any type of whole grains, beans, nuts and seeds, any type of vegetables, fruits, oils, and most people for beverages, they stick to water and uh, decaffeinated tea, decaffeinated coffee. If you aren't sure about recipes, if you go onto Pinterest, there are hundreds of recipes on Pinterest. You can also Google Daniel Fast recipes. And again, it might sound kind of limiting, but it's not. Once you see the recipes that are available, you will be able to feed your family very, very well. And most people end up, after the first week, really, really enjoying this fast. And um, it really isn't about enjoying this fast so much as it is sacrificing our flesh and what we place before the Lord and just giving that all to him in order to seek him, to show him, Lord, we are seeking you because we know it's only through you that we are going to get guidance for the upcoming year, that our bodies are going to be healed, that our children are going to be saved, that we're going to be seeing that 
that sliders come home, the prodigals coming home, that we're going to see how to pray for this ministry, how to pray for this nation. It's only the Lord that knows the keys that we need. The Bible tells us that God is a God that rewards those who diligently seek him. So I just invite you to take part in this because it's a really exciting time for us and you will just be amazed by what God is going to do, by the closeness you're going to feel. You're going to experience him in new and powerful ways. You're going to hear his voice in new ways and I know that this will be a real blessing to you and your family. So I bless you as you start this fast and we cannot wait to hear the testimonies that come in at the end of this 21 days. God bless you.